Hello everybody, welcome to the Market Report. My name is Christian Charlo. Today we're Thursday, April 2nd, 2015. Today folks, what I want to talk about, I want to talk about a movement on the energy sector. Yesterday on marketgurus.tv that you can have access for free for 10 days just by clicking at the link below, we published that list. Today, the yesterday's movement is continuing and I'm going to show you stocks that are breaking out and stocks that are on the verge of breaking out. However, the risk is tomorrow we will have the employment report in the US. Markets will be closed, but if ever the employment report is negative, well then on Monday and on Tuesday of next week, those breakouts might actually not perform as well. So this is why today it's important that even if there are some breakouts, you should not be in a buying spree, but rather increase your positions among energy stocks gradually. For instance, when here we see the situation of oil, oil still remains neutral. There's some negotiations between Iran and several major world powers. Uh, so far, no deal has been made yet, but we're still waiting for an announcement there. Also, if we take a look at the energy sector situation, it's in a clear bullish cycle on the Canadian side. What we favored on MarketGurus.tv yesterday to trade that bullish cycle is not to go with some stocks, but to rather go with the safest alternative, which is HEU. So HEU has been recommended on MarketGurus.tv that you can have access for free for 10 days. And today we're continuing to hold onto that positions around 395. That's going to trigger a first profit taking opportunity on that positions. On the energy sector in the US, it remains within a neutral cycle. On MarketGurus.tv, we have also recommended ERX. If you have not bought it yesterday, I think ERX still represents a good opportunity, but not, do not be on a buying spree, meaning that instead of buying 1,000 shares, maybe you could go for 300 or 400 shares of an of a ETF like ERX. And as an exit point, instead of waiting until 52, I would mostly put it whenever we have the reversal of the short-term upward trend around, let's say, 5336 on ERX because the employment report tomorrow, if it's negative, will bring the sector further down. In terms of the breakouts, we had Torco Oil and Gas, that is a breakout today. It broke out yesterday, but today it's still a buying point. Exit point 967 on Torco Oil and Gas. Anadarko Petroleum as well, it's a breakout. The only thing I don't like with Anadarko Petroleum is that it's breaking out, but volumes are not as high as yesterday. So this is the thing I kind of don't like. It's also an overbought situation and it's reaching its 100 day moving average, but that 100 day moving average could be easily broken out though if ever the rally continues and if ever the employment report is positive. So that would be a stock where I would open a half position, for instance, and put my exit point on the reversal of the short term upward trend around $82, $81.50. Meg Energy, also a clear breakout as well, but you see, volumes are not that great on Meg Energy. Uh, I will trend trade that stock, meaning that as long as it maintains within its upward trend, I will hold on to it. Exit point stands at $20. Uh, 24 will be the point where you're going to have to trigger a profit to, uh, to close that position because that will be a clear, important resistance on MEG Energy. Canadian Natural Resources, it's also a nice breakout. Uh, if we take a look at this on a yearly basis, it's also reversing an important downward trend. The only thing is... The 200 day moving average is around 4069. So that doesn't give us a 10% potential until that 200 day moving average. But if the rally continues in the energy sector, that 200 day moving average could be easily uh, broken out. So that's actually the risk that you have in Keynes and Natural Resources. And that is why you should trigger a half position on a stock like that and trend trade that stock, which means you hold on to it as long as it remains above $38. What are the stocks that should be watched for an eventual breakout? ETP on New York, higher than 57.50. That will confirm the reversal of this downward trend. That will be a go. At Tabasco Oil Sands on the TSX, higher than 225. That will be a go. And Hess, higher than 70.10. That will be a go because that will confirm the reversal of this downward trend. So overall, folks, the energy sector is the leader. As I said, because of the employment report tomorrow that will be published, you have to remain cautious in your buying point. However, those stocks that are highlighted with an eye here are all stocks that should be watched that are breaking out today. They're an entry point, but go in gradually. And the ones with an S are the ones that could break out if ever the rally continues. On MarketGurus.tv, what we have recommended are two bullish ETFs, such as HEU on the TSX and ERX on New York. And we believe this is actually the safest alternative to trade the bullish shackle of the energy sector, which is at risk of potentially losing its upward momentum only and only if 
t tomorrow's employment report turns out to be negative in the U.S. So that's it, folks. You can always follow us on Facebook, Twitter. If you want to have access to all the lists of energy stocks, I invite you to make the free trial of MarketGurus.tv just by clicking at the link below. This was Christian Charlo from MarketGurus.tv. Yeah.